Well, good morning, my friends. It's a pleasure to be here with you for this week's devotional, and I hope you had a great week so far. And uh, this morning, I want to uh, send out a special uh, happy birthday to my brother, Manuel, who turns 50 today. So happy 50th birthday to you, and uh, I hope that uh, the Lord continues to bless you with many more years. And on that note, I want to share with you a verse today, Psalm 118, 24, where the Psalter says, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I love this verse because it's an invitation. If you really listen to it, it says, let us rejoice. It's an invitation. It's an offer for us to rejoice in the day that the Lord has given us. And indeed, that's exactly what we should do. You see, we have a choice uh, on how to go about our day. And despite the many things that can happen in our days, um, it's our choice. And if you remember my message this last Sunday, we talked about either choosing to trust in God or choosing to trust in man. And we saw and we actually examined two kings, uh, indeed a father and a son, and how one chose to trust in man and the other one chose to trust in God and the vast difference between the two and the results in their lives. And the same goes for you and I. If we choose to trust in God, that means that every day we should rejoice and be glad in every day that God has given us. And so on that note, I hope that today as you uh, start your day, that uh, you can rejoice and find the joy and the reason to be happy in the things that God has done in your life. And that becomes contagious because others will see. And so a lot of times people will ask me, Irby, what's the best way to spread the gospel message? And it's simple, by your own life and testimony. Not so much by what you say, but by what you reveal in your life, by what you do, how you show the love of Christ to others. So rejoice. Be happy. This is the day the Lord has made. I hope you have a blessed week this week, and I look forward to our next session soon. God bless you.